the bandwidth definition for negative feedback amplifiers. So we have seen that with the aid of the asymptotic gain model, we can write the gain of a negative feedback amplifier as the product of the asymptotic gain and something that we call the servo function. So the source to load transfer can be written as a product of the asymptotic gain and the servo function, which is in fact completely determined by the loop gain. And if the if the reference variable for the loop gain is correctly selected, then the asymptotic gain equals the ideal gain, which was the gain designed when the amplifier, when the controller of the amplifier was a nuller. So basically, the asymptotic gain or the ideal gain is something that we design while designing the structure of the amplifier. And in this structure, we can already define that we want to give the amplifier a certain frequency characteristic. For example, if we want to give the amplifier an integrating characteristic, then the ideal gain is like one over S times some constant. And then the question could be, what is then the bandwidth of the amplifier? Well, so the desired filter characteristic of the amplifier, we can we can design it in the ideal game. And the bandwidth definition must be decoupled from this one, because this is basically what we want. So if we want to make an integrator, then in the ideal situation, the bandwidth of the integrator will be infinite, which means it integrates signal from zero frequency up to infinity. And then the servo function, so this function minus L divided by one minus L, tells us something about the difference in behavior of the real source to load transfer from the ideal or the desired source to load transfer. So you can say this should be unity, then it was a, then we have no difference at all. We have a, we have a perfectly, we follow the, the ideal characteristic, but um, the deviation from unity from this one tells us something also about the bandwidth. If there's, for example, a plus, uh, a high frequency minus 3 dB point, then that is the high frequency cutoff. And if there is a low frequency minus 3 dB point, then there is a low frequency cutoff. So we will define the bandwidth as a difference between the low pass 3 dB and the high pass 3 dB frequencies of the servo function. And in this way, and that is very important, the bandwidth is decoupled from the desired frequency frequency characteristics that has been designed in the ideal game. 